Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time watching one of my videos. Hi, my name is James and I am so, 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 so excited about this video. Okay, so let me back up for a second. So I seen this video pop up on my YouTube suggested and I was intrigued. I seen the title. I hired three interior design designers to compare what they said. And I was like, I'm interested to see what these three interior designers had to say. And also, I'm curious if they knew that you're going to make a video comparing all their notes. And before I get into this, I just want to say, design is subjective. Everyone has different tastes, everyone has different opinions, and that's okay. That's what makes this world fun, that's what makes design fun and exciting. It's all the different aesthetics and vibes that people have that make it exciting. Um, so with that being said, let's jump into this. This week I hired three interior designers to come to my house for an hour, evaluate my space, and I'm going to compare. Okay, so basically what, what well, from my point of view, so an interior design is like a design consultation, so I'm assuming this is what she got was just a design consultation from each designer. Now I should preference and uh, preface and say preface. Preface and say that when I'm hired, for example, for a design consultation, you're literally kind of just sp giving out some ideas. You're not you don't have a fully concrete plan. You don't exactly know exactly what the end result is going to look like. You have a few ideas and you're kind of bouncing off the client and seeing where their head's at and kind of seeing where they want the direction of their space to go. Sometimes, okay, I was going to get into something there, but like, let me just see some more what she has to say first before I run my mouth. <laughs> That sounds Christmassy, doesn't it? What's up, guys? It's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. This is the video that you guys voted on for this week. I posted a poll on my Instagram story asking for votes, and the two options were I talked to three palm readers and compared what they said, or I hired three interior designers and compared what they said. And this is the one that you guys voted on. I struggle with interior design immensely. I find it stressful. I do not find it fun. The idea of having a fixer upper home when I'm older seems like a nightmare, unless that's something like my husband's into. I'm not opposed to it, but like on my own, I would never do that. I much prefer graphic design, fashion design, interior design. Like really? Oh my God, I'm so surprised because Normally people who are into like graphic design and interior design have uh, like also have an eye for interior design because it's all colour and shapes um, and like texture so I'm, I'm, wow I'm so surprised. No, no. I don't know why though. You'd think I'd like it. Yeah. I would think I'd like it but I don't. So what I decided is it's been too long. I've lived in this apartment for five months and haven't done enough with it at all. I have extra space on the walls that's not being utilized. I don't even think I'm putting furniture in the right place to maximize space. I hit a wall. Like I don't want to do this anymore. I want my apartment to be cuter. What am I What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Let me gather my thoughts. Interior design is not my forte. It's because interior design is not just about how a space looks it's about how a space functions if you tell me get a desk I will find a yes a beautiful yes. desk that I love my problem that's is a big um thing that people don't really understand is it's not just going in and making a space look nice it's also making it work better if you know what I mean so does it more does it better flow um it promotes an easier lifestyle so like say for example the kitchen I done that was designed with the client's morning routine, evening routine all in mind so like it made everything easier, it was a flow, it was a step by step even in a living room like uh, it's yeah it's function. Here's a room where would the desk work the best? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just good at picking up a cute desk. So I brought in the professional. She what I'm going to do is to make it easier on you, give you a tour it. of my apartment first, then we're going to meet back here and explain to you what each designer said. I was confused because I had messaged her ahead of time. I don't need any physical labor. I'm just hiring you for an hour to evaluate my space. So she comes in and she's like, what can I help you organize? So I'm like, oh, nothing. And she's like, yeah, so you just want like 
where to put things and she comes out and she has her hands on her hips and she's looking around. <laughs> she's like shelves. You could put shelves on this wall right here. You could put shelves on this wall right here. You could put shelves on that wall right there. <gasps> I was like, okay, yeah. Any ideas for the living room? And she points to the couch and she's like, you could put like some shelves above there. Maybe put shel like a shelving unit there. I'm like, okay. Anything else? If she points to the full length mirror. And she's like, you could do like little shelves for the books right there. I was like, is this real? Are we kidding? I kind of am expecting her to take a little bit more lead just because the first designer had taken such a lead, but she definitely was taking the follow stance in our relationship and was looking for me for direction. And I'm over here like, don't you understand I hired you because this is my weakness. Like, I'm so bad at this. I tell her my problem areas. I let her know the two main things I'm looking for in this space is a way to incorporate a workspace and a way to incorporate more st storage for my wardrobe. So she sees the art supplies on the floor and she's like, so this is like clutter? I was like, oh yeah, totally. And she's like, well, you have some room in your closet, right? So she picks up and she puts it on the closet shelf and like squeezes it in. And it's still up there, I'll show you. Here, we can take a little field trip. So see how I have three bins up here, and then I had three bins down here, and she just kind of squeezed this in. So now these are all too tight and like really hard to get out. And she just pushed it in and was like, okay, good to go. I have two more of these, and she's like, well, you have under the bed storage, right? So she just put them down here. I'm like, okay, this is not very helpful. I try to guide her away from it. I'm like, you know, we don't need to do this. So I take her out of my room and we go back to the main oh space. My and we're talking about my different pain points in the kitchen. I was like, well, definitely shouldn't have a vanity on my kitchen. I know that's a problem that I shouldn't have. So she's like, well, why don't you put it on the bathroom shelf? And I was like, oh, the vanity is too large. She just does it anyway. And she's like cramming makeup into the drawers, not organizing them. That's what I'm so confused about because you're a professional organizer and she was just See, I'm confused now if she hired an interior designer for the second lady or an organizer because I I like to be organized but like I wouldn't label myself as organized if you know what I mean like it wouldn't be like something I'd market myself as um so kind of confused into myself. the space like just hiding it I'm like okay great but that doesn't actually solve the problem her than the first person. It was two completely different experiences. So two hours later, I had my third and final designer come and he was a little cutie, he was very eager. He also was working on TaskRabbit as a mover. So he was very keen on letting me know that if I bought any things, like he would help me make it, build it, move it, carry it, discard of anything. Like he was very good at that. You well, should get I mean, drawers for underneath your bed and you can slide things in and out. And you should be doing that anyway, you know? Even if it's, even like, you know, what I would do if I, when I'm doing spaces, I, if I'm not assembling the furniture myself and play, I would be placing it myself, but I'd have like people come in and assemble it and then get rid of any rubbish and stuff. Like you would never leave like stuff like that for the client to do because an interior design service is a luxury service. Like it's not something that like just everyone gets. So I feel like it should be treated as a luxury service. Like the client shouldn't have to do anything if they don't want to. They should be involved as much as they want to be involved, but they don't shouldn't have to be, you know, if that makes any sense. Moving my dresser to where that weird wall is right there and then putting it Oh, I wouldn't move the dresser over to that wall. Definitely not. Because when the door opens, like it, you know, bang. Desk where I am right now. Bad my love. only like minor minor issue with that is that this is my perfect little filming space as you've now seen the tour you can What are they underneath the window? Are they candles? I love the stools by the way. They're really nice. Um, I just feel like you need to Have a place for everything and uh, like anything that like, you know Just isn't fitting or you don't use you need to throw out because like it needs I think it needs a good decluttering to be honest um it's a tricky space though like i'm not going to lie i mean and i don't know what your budget is and like i don't really know your style i do like the idea as well 
you know, of having the things in a waterproof thing outside because, like, I mean, they just don't look. I wonder, do you have like a little like, closet or something, or like a hot press or something? Um, I mean, you do have a really cool style. I really like your style. I think it's really like interesting, like definitely interesting. Um, yeah, definitely. I feel like there's something missing in that living room. Like it just feels very. I yeah, I might move the couch. You know, oh, go back. I might move the couch to that wall. And have your prints above it, and then have like maybe put the TV on one of them things. You know, in brackets that flip out and like twist on like the other wall. Like maybe so you can wash it in the kitchen as well. I don't. It's hard to see. And I'm like, what are them cushions? Like, I mean, I feel like you have a good foundation here, but like, I mean, I feel like you know, there's a lot of things missing from a decorating standpoint. Like, I'm not sure if that coffee table is the best for the space either, like, um, size-wise. Uh, yeah. But well, anyway, guys, that's <laughs> me react. I was just, I was more so curious to see, like, what the commonality was between each three designer. Like, you know, they, they each kind of suggest the same thing. Because, you know, there is, like, very basic things that, you know, I or anyone else in my in design field we've kind of like already kind of just like you know no as in a kind of like just a what am I trying to say you know like a uh, common sense it's like more common sense you know because when you're doing it for when you're doing a few projects you kind of know these things because you like know to look out for them um, and also like I don't know it's like a thing that clicks you know sometimes and I'm not surprised at all that the Two of them at least had. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Who who did you hire for the second? I'm dying to know. Like who is it and who are these designers that you hired? Because I I really like to know. Um, and was she an interior designer? The second lady that you hired, or was she like an organizer? Because I just, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm curious. Okay, guys. And with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed. Please. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that little notification bell just to be notified when I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. And I have some really exciting videos coming. This week coming, like after this video, like you're you're not even ready. You are not even ready. Oh, like I'm so excited. I'm actually so excited for you to share like these next few videos with you. Um, and then in April, it's my birth month. So I'm going to be uploading three videos a week. I know last time I done that was December and that was the first time I done it ever in December and like it was hard work it was hard work but I just really like I don't know I just felt so like you know like I don't know I like doing it so I want to do it again for my birth month um, and then also after my birth month I'm going on holidays so get excited um, but yeah I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.